Today I'm going to solve Fizzbuzz, it's lead code 412 and it's based on conditions. So we have an integer n and we have to return a string array, we're going to call it answer. It's going to be a one indexed array, meaning that all the indices are going to be pushed by one. This is how we need to populate that string. So at index i in the string array, answer at index i has to be fizzbuzz if i is divisible by 3 and 5. The value has to be fizz if i is divisible by 3, meaning not by 5, only by 3. And then here, if it's not divisible by 3, but it's only divisible by 5, the value at that index has to be buzz. And finally, if none of the conditions above evaluated to true, then we need to store the value of i as a string at the corresponding index. So they have some examples below. 1 and 2 are not divisible by 3 or by 5. So this is taking effect right now. You see that the value of i, which is 1, is stored as a string in the array at index 1. Normally, this is index 0, but they see here that the array is 1 indexed. So we need to treat this as index 1. At index 2, we store the value of i as a string, but at index 3 here, we store fees because the index is divisible by 3, but not by 5. So this condition is taking effect. You can have a look at more of the examples here. I'm going to jump straight into my solution. And the first thing I do is create a string vector in C++ that I'm calling answer. And I'm creating it so that it has enough space for all the values that I need, the one index array. Now I need to create my index i. It's an integer. I'm starting it at one. And then I'm going to loop it all the way until the end of my inclusive range, which is from one to n. At every iteration, I'm going to verify this condition, the first one, if i is divisible by 3. So even though here they say 3 and 5, I first begin by checking here, can we divide this by 3? So that's why I have here the modulo operator. If i divided by 3 using the modulo operator does not give any remainder, then i is divisible by 3. And now I also need to check if i is divisible by 5, because I could be here or I could be here. So I need to check where exactly am I. So if i is also divisible by 5, it means that currently we are dealing with the first condition, in which case the value as index answer i minus 1 is going to be fizzbuzz. Notice that here I have i minus 1 because this is pure C++ code. We can't treat an array as a one index array because in programming it doesn't make sense. Everything is zero indexed. So even though we have to read it as a one index array inside of your code, you need to deal with it properly by having it as a zero index array. So because i here starts at one, I need to say i minus one so that this becomes the first value in my array. Otherwise, if i is divisible by three, but not by five, it means that currently we are dealing with this condition here. I can say that the value at the corresponding index is fees, which is what they are requesting right here. Now here I need to check if it's not divisible by three, so this evaluated to false, but it is divisible by five. Without being divisible by three, it means that we are now dealing with this third condition. So the value here has to be buzz, that is what I'm having here. And finally, if none of the conditions above evaluated to true, in my code, these are the conditions, then I need to store the value of i as a string at the corresponding index. So once I'm done, I need to return my answer vector. First of all, I increment i because I'm inside of a while loop. So I need to keep pushing i forward until I hit the value n and then I exceed it. And once I'm done with this while loop, I return answer. So answer is the vector from the top here, which was populated inside of this while loop. So now let's run this code. We passed the three sample test cases. Now I'm submitting it. And we've passed all the test cases and currently we are at zero milliseconds and the memory is also pretty good. So that's it for the lead code coding challenge called FizzBuzz. If you like my coding tutorials and you want more interview questions practice, please subscribe and I'll catch you next time.